biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. Gonna smoke me a bad brisket. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're smoking up some turkey breasts at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, here I have some bone-in turkey breasts. You've seen these before. And when you smoke them, oh, man, they ain't the same old, same old turkey breasts, man. These are, these are some good eating at the pit. Now, to get these uh, turkey breasts moist, there's a trick, and it's called brining, all right? A lot of you probably know about brining. It's a marinade in a sense. Right? So uh, what we're going to do here is start with one gallon of OJ. And use it an appropriate container like this. Uh, one of these uh, ice water buckets work perfect for brining your turkeys. Now here I have one gallon of apple juice. Now you could uh, use your favorite brine for this. But uh, this one here works if you've never done it before. Now, the whole thing about brining is you need salt. I just put two cups of salt in there. You might think it's become real salty, but it doesn't. All right. And during the cook, that'll, uh, that'll cook off. I just added uh, two cups of brown sugar. Here I've got some molasses, and I put about one quarter cup of molasses in there. And this here is a Worcestershire sauce. Put about one quarter cup. Here, I'm putting in two tablespoons of black pepper. You gotta have pepper with that turkey. And because uh, turkey breast is fairly bland, as you know, we're adding some spices, right? This here is some Cajun spice. Use your favorite. And I'm putting about uh, one quarter cup. You could use a uh, Cajun boil if you want. Now, one last thing. I'm going to add a little bit of onion. Mm. Just a bit. Maybe a half an onion. Or whatever you can get into the bucket. Mm. Now, if you've never had smoked turkey breast before, you definitely got to check this out. Mm. Get as much onion as you have left. Throw it in there. Give it a good mix. Now, the brining process for turkeys like this, and these are about two eight pounders. We've got 16 pounds of breast going in there. Figure about four hours. You could go longer, but four hours will work just about right for this. If you go uh, too much longer, you run the risk of uh, cooking the meat in a liquid brine, and you don't want to do that. Now, to keep it ice cold, we're at about a gallon of uh, ice cubes, and all we have to do is wait. And in a miracle of time, about four, four and a half hours has gone by. We're going to pull them out of the brine. And we're going to prep them for the smoker. Now you can see here that the uh, turkey has taken on some of the color of the brine. Ooh, looks good. Now you could throw these as is right on your smokers, but uh, I like it to do it this way. First, we're going to do is dry it off a bit because we're going to add some rub. Mm. We're going to add another layer of flavor. We start by using uh, some veggie oil. I know you Vegematics will be happy with that. But use your favorite oil and spread it all over these turkey breasts. Now, this here is uh, some rub. It's one of the rubs I pulled off the shelf. Use your favorite rub. You want to coat these turkey breasts real good with it, inside and out. This here is a uh, sugar-based rub, of course, but uh, don't worry about burning when you're doing the smoking because your temperatures are going to be low enough. It's going to be about 225 degrees to 250 degrees Fahrenheit at the most. This rub will work just perfect. We're placing it on the grill opposite the uh, hot coals. You know all about that. Indirect cooking. These kettle grills work real good as smokers as well. And of course, you know that. And here I'm adding some cherry wood wood chips. You could use apple wood or use your favorite uh, wood chip. But usually, uh, you want to go for a mild smoke. This cherry wood makes it nice. All right, one turkey breast 
is on the grill. And we're going to do another one. Now, of course, you could use that fast forward button in front of you and just jump to the end. But uh, for some of you newbies who haven't done this before, we're doing another turkey breast with a different kind of rub. Wipe off the moisture, of course, so the oil gets on there real good. Man, I can't wait for a turkey sandwich, I'm going to tell you that. Grab some of that oil. Rub it on good just the way she likes it. Oh yeah. And here I've got a uh, Chipotle based rub. I'm gonna cover her up good. Oh yeah. Man, it smells good enough to eat already. <laughs> now we've got a, a vertical smoker uh, all ready to go here in the back and uh, just to show you guys you're not allowed to have your uh, open fire charcoal or barbecue at your place you can always use these LPs they work real great throwing in some wood chips on the bottom we're gonna be running a temperature about 225 degrees Fahrenheit just like the other one we got the water bath in there oh, man. we're gonna be eating good going to take about a little over four hours so there's nothing left to do now but kick back and watch the time go by that's what a low and slow barbecue is all about All right, about two hours has gone by. We're going to check on these birds. Take a look at that. Oh, man. What I'm going to do is uh, spin it around so we can get that even smoking going on. Mm -hmm. We're going to add another handful of uh, cherry wood smoking chips right there. I don't want to add too much smoke, just a little bit. another two hours or so to go and through the miracle of time these turkey breasts are done take a look at that oh. now what we're gonna do is check the internal temperature of this breast and you want to be about hundred and sixty hundred sixty two degrees Fahrenheit All right that's perfect you don't want to do it more than that or you're gonna dry out this turkey breast Look at that nice golden brown color. Oh, man. I say it's time to pull it off the grill. Now, to maintain the moisture in this turkey breast, what we're going to do is wrap it in aluminum foil. And this is an important step. This will allow all the moisture to repermeate this bird. So we're going to throw it in aluminum foil, wrap it up for at least a half hour. Now let's pull the other one off that vertical smoker there. Yeah, look at that. Can you smell that? It smells good. You can hear and see the juice is just dripping off this turkey breast. Oh yeah. Again. We'll wrap this one up too in foil. Let it sit for about a half hour or so. All right. I say it's time to slice it up.
Grab old hickory. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Yes, sir. Moist and tender. This ain't no deli turkey breast here. Oh. This is why you make up too. Got plenty of lift. I say it's time to eat. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but this here is what we call pitmaster privilege. Oh. Somebody get the gravy. time you're looking for a barbecue recipe for your pit, you check out the barbecue pitboys.com. <laughs>